Welcome to the homework for lesson 19. This is grade 3, module 2. Write your name first, as usual. And uh, solve the subtraction problems below. Now, sometimes they're in grams or centimeters. And they're just there to remind us that we're always counting something in math. And we have to keep track of what it is we're counting. Our units here are grams. And I'm going to do all of these using the standard algorithm for subtraction. Zero ones, zero ones, eight tens minus nine tens. I don't have enough tens, so I have to break up one of these hundreds. Now I have 18 tens. 18 minus nine is nine. And we still have that hundred and it's in grams. 450 minus 284. Let me clean up that 50. That doesn't really look like a zero, does it? There. Zero minus four. Can't do that. And we can't subtract four minus zero. That would be subtracting up, which you can't do. Don't do that. Don't subtract up. So what we have to do instead is break up one of these tens. We'll have four tens now. And now we'll have ten ones. Ten minus four is six. Now we look at the tens, and we don't have enough tens. Four minus eight. We can't subtract eight from four, so we have to break up a hundred. We'll have three left after we do this. And now we have fourteen tens. 14 minus 8 is 6, and 3 minus 2 is 1, and these are grams. 423 minus 136. We don't have enough 1s. 3 minus 6, so we have to unbundle a 10. We'll have one 10 left after we do that. 10 more 1s, plus the 3 we already have, is 13 1s. 13 minus 6 we can do, that's 7. 1 minus 3, we don't have enough tens to subtract 3 tens, so we have to break up one of these hundreds. And then 10 plus that 1, we have 11 tens now. 11 minus 3 is 8, and 3 minus 1 is 2. Two hundreds, 8 tens and 7 ones. And these are centimeters. 567 minus 246. This is just plain old-fashioned subtraction practice. Seven ones minus six ones. We have enough ones to take away six and have one left over. And then uh, we can we have enough tens to take away four tens. Six tens is enough to have two tens left over. And then hundreds, five minus two is three hundreds left over. These are centimeters. So you don't always have to unbundle or regroup hundreds or tens or ones. You never have to regroup ones. And you never have to unbundle. You don't always have to do it. So it's, it's important to don't just automatically start crossing out place values in your menu end and, and start making trades, subtraction trades you don't have to make. So you just have to look at every single problem one at a time as you get to it and not try to anticipate that they're all going to be the same. Uh, so now we have zero, and we have two zeros in our menu end, which means we have to go all the way over here. We have to break up a hundred to get anything else. We'll have eight hundreds left. And we'll get ten tens for that. But we can't keep them all because we need ones. So we'll have to break up one of those tens, and now we'll have nine tens left. And we get ten ones for that. Ten ones minus eight ones is two ones. 9 tens minus 5 tens is 4 tens, and then we get to keep all 8 hundreds because we're not subtracting any hundreds, and these are grams. 900 minus 358. I know it's awfully tempting to subtract up when you have zeros in your menu end, but please don't. We have to break up one of those hundreds to get everything else that we need. Break up 100, it gives us 10 tens. 
Then we have to break up one of these tens. We'll have nine left after that. And that gives us ten ones. Ten, now we can subtract ten minus eight is two ones. Nine tens minus five tens is four tens. And eight hundreds minus three hundreds is five hundreds. And these are grams we're counting. Now we have liters and milliliters kind of mixed together here. And this is going to work out. One of the first things you want to look for for these is like, do we have enough milliliters? And we do. Because otherwise we might have to break up a liter. And uh, hopefully we won't have to do that soon. But it looks like we, we can just look at the liters separately because we have enough milliliters. So we have four liters. 710 milliliters. And we're subtracting 2 liters from 4 liters. And we're subtracting 690 milliliters. Now you may just look at this and say, oh, 710 minus 690, that's 20. And it's pretty easy to do mentally, isn't it? You'll have 2 liters left over here, but if we're going to do this using the... And that's just an example of how sometimes mental math is way easier and faster than doing the uh, subtraction algorithm. But just to show you, break up that one of those hundreds, we'll have six hundreds left. And then we get ten tens for that. We already have one here, so that means we're going to have eleven tens. And now we have to break up one of those so that we can have ones. We'll have ten tens left for that. And we'll have ten ones for that ten that we just broke up. Ten... And then, oh, wait a minute, we don't have to do that, do we? Oops. <laughs> Let me start over. That was goofy. You know what? I just, didn't I just get done saying that every problem is different and you don't always automatically have to make all those trades? Well, sometimes you catch yourself making those same mistakes. All right, so I just erased it, and we'll start over. I knew because I, when I saw that I was going to have 10 minus 0, I would have 10 ones left down here, and I'm like you can't have two digits in one place value, and I knew right away I made a mistake. If that ever happens to you, then you know what to do. Erase all those trade, those uh, erase all those crutch marks for your from your menu end, and start over. All right, let me do this. There. All right, so. The zeros we don't have to worry about. I started from the wrong end. That's what happened. Now I have to unbundle one of these hundreds. And I get 11 tens. And I can now I can just subtract my tens. 11 tens minus 9 tens is 2 tens. And 6 by 6. There's nothing. There's the 20 I, I knew I was going to have from the beginning. And those don't not forget our units. 2 liters, 20 milliliters. And here we have... Looks like we got plenty of milliliters, so we don't have to worry about breaking up any liters. Because liters are thousands. That's a, just really like another place value here. So we're, we can subtract liters from liters, and we can subtract milliliters from milliliters. And we'll see, we'll have four liters left. And we have to break up one of these tens because we don't have any ones to subtract eight from. So that'll give us two tens left and ten ones. Ten minus eight is two. And now two minus seven, we don't have enough tens to so take away seven tens, so we have to break up a hundred. Right? We'll have seven hundreds left, and then we'll get ten more tens for this. We have 2 already, so 10 and 2 is 12. We'll have 12 tens. 12 minus 7 is 5. And seven. And now the 100, 7 hundreds minus 3 hundreds is 4 hundreds. And these are milliliters. Second page. The total weight of a giraffe and her calf. There's a picture right here. Is The total weight is 904 total weight is 904 kilograms. How much does the calf weigh? Use a tape diagram to model your thinking. So you've got to have a tape diagram for this, and we're going to have a number sentence, and we're going to have some subtraction. Predictably, since we're practicing subtraction. Uh, oh, 
we want the total, we want the menu end first. And if you think about this, the way we usually draw these tape diagrams, it's like the vertical subtraction method, or also called standard algorithm. You have the menu end on top, right? This is here's the total. It's not really a total because it's a subtraction, so it's a menu end. This is the 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 weight of both. You know, is nine hundred four kilograms. Then we know that the giraffe is most of that weight, right? Because it's 829, so that's most of the 904. And it should weigh more than the calf, right? So this is the giraffe, and this little bit here is the calf. And we know that the giraffe is 829. Here's our subtraction. We're just finding the difference between the two. Zero in the middle. We don't have enough ones to subtract nine, so we don't have any tens, so we have to break up one of these hundreds here. Leaves us eight hundreds. And ten tens. But we need to break up one of those tens, so we're only going to have nine after we do that. And now we'll have ten more ones with the four we already had, that's 14. 14 ones minus 9 ones, 5 ones. 9 minus 2 tens, 7 tens. And 8 minus 8 is nothing. These are kilograms. The calf. Weighs. 75. kilograms. The Erie Canal runs 584 kilometers from Albany to Buffalo. Salvador travels on the canal, canal from Albany. He must travel 396 kilometers before he reaches Buffalo. How many kilometers has he traveled so far? So this can be really confusing if you don't know what a canal is and you don't know anything about Albany or Buffalo. But Albany and Buffalo are cities in New York State. So let's say we have Albany here. Actually, let's fix that. Albany here and Buffalo here. And traveling on a canal, a canal is kind of like a man made river. So he's going from Albany to Buffalo, and the whole trip is 584 kilometers. Now he's left from Albany, right? And he's gone part of the way, but he still has all this way left to go, which is 396 km. So that's it. He has, he's leaving from Albany, right? This is Albany and that's Buffalo. And he, he must travel 396 kilometers more before he reaches Buffalo. So that's this is where he is now, and that's how much he has left. We don't know how far he's traveled so far. So that's what we have to figure out. The difference between, and it comes out to the difference between 584 and 396. So that's 1s to subtract 6 1s, so we have to break up one of these 10s. We'll have 7 10s left when we do that, but we'll have 10 more 1s. It gives us 14 1s. And we can subtract 6 1s now. We'll have 8 1s left. But now we don't have enough 10s. 7 minus 9. We can't subtract 9 minus 7. But if only if it were so easy. 
but the thing is we have seven tens and we're ta we're, and we're subtracting nine and we can't switch the roles we can't just decide to change the menu and in the subtrahend so what we have to do instead is break up one of these hundreds because we have all the all the all the kilometers we need four hundreds left and that makes ten tens Add it to the seven tens we already have. Now we have 17 tens. 17 tens minus nine tens, eight tens, and subtract our hundreds. We have 100 left. So, so far he's gone 188 kilometers. Salvador. Has gone. 188 kilometers. Mr. Nguyen fills two inflatable pools. They're kiddie pools. Oh, he has two. He's a small one and a large one. The kiddie pool holds 185 liters of water. The larger pool holds 600 liters of water. How much more? water does the larger pool hold in the kiddie pool so here's the larger pool l for larger and larger is going to be the big piece of tape and the smaller pool the kiddie pool is going to be the small piece of tape there we know how big the large piece of tape it's 600 liters and the small is 185 liters then we have to find the difference between the two don't know what that is yet. So that's going to be 600 minus 185. And we've got zeros here, but no zeros. Zeros in our menu end, but no zeros in our subtrahend. So we're going to have to break up the, one of these hundreds here. We'll have five hundreds left. That gives us ten tens. We have to break up one of those tens, leaving us only nine. But then we get ten ones for it. So now we have ten ones. Minus five ones, it's five. Nine minus eight is one ten left. And five minus one hundred, four hundred left. So the difference is four hundred liters. Get larger. Pool holds four hundred fifteen liters more water.